All right, I know it. Things always happen at the worst time. I have a coolant leak and there's snow on the ground. It's cold out. I don't even want to be doing this, but I got to fix this. All right, before I get into the coolant leak, first I want to talk about my channel a little bit. I don't do this in any of my videos. All my videos when I do the repairs, I start right in, get right into the repair. I know that's exactly what you're looking for, but I got to talk about this a little bit. I have this 2001 BMW 325XI. You hate like BMW. It. You're always making fun no, of people seriously. with them. This is my Beamer budget build daily driver. I've been driving this car for two years now. I got it extremely cheap and on my channel, I like to put all the videos of the different repairs I've had to do and my future repairs. You definitely want to subscribe to my channel because you want to see how long this E46 lasts. If I have to eventually just get rid of it or if I have to, you know, do some major overhauling. So far it's been great. Here's a little montage of all the repairs that I've already done on this car. Right off. And that's where the fuel pump is. I'm going to be replacing these conventional front lower control arm bushings. Now you definitely want to use a synthetic oil. Don't use a conventional. This isn't a Chevy Nova. Oh, there we go. Down the highway and a rock kicked up and hit my windshield and I got a little crack. Come on, you know you want to see this thing fail. Just subscribe. I'm having to add about a quarter of a gallon every two days of coolant. Now when I bought this car, it had a new radiator, it had the overflow tank, um, and all the plastic, um, all the plastic in the area of the radiator has been replaced. So now that was about two and a half years ago. Um, it is obviously, it's very common for the overflow tank to crack and stuff. That's not what I have going on here. My leak's actually coming from these two O-rings on here. Let me just make sure that's it. But yeah, you can see there's a drip right there for the cooler, for the transmission cooler. So we're gonna pop this off and I'm gonna see if I can replace just those O-rings get away with that. Hopefully I don't mess something up so I can't drive the vehicle. I already popped off the cap up top. All right, so let's try to pop this little lock up. And it came off completely. Try not to get soaked. Just slide this out. that's all it is I don't see any coolant above that so I'm hoping it's not just the plastic is cracked pretty sure it's just the other ones it seemed like this one was leaking worse so Let's take this off just use a pick I got two o-rings I'll see if I can give you guys the right size afterwards
Let's try to take this one off without stabbing myself. Now I can see that the O-ring looks like it's flattened, so pretty sure just the new O-ring should, should do the job. That's the new one. I'm gonna slide this clip in position first. You can always get a new cooler too. Now just snap it in. Now I'll have to see if those seal up. To wash it off. All right, I overfilled it a little bit. <laughs> Just bleed it off a little. There it goes, it's going down. It is cold out today. If you guys are doing any projects outside in the cold, what are you doing? Coolant leaks, <laughs> coolant problems are my kryptonite. I always have coolant problems. If you're a mechanic and you have a kryptonite, what is yours? Just seems like I always have an overheating problem or a coolant leaking problem. Um, not so much on this E46 lately, but um, my 944, I was always having problems with thermostats, coolant fan switches, um, all sorts of stuff. Just so you have a rough idea of the size of the O-rings, uh, a little less than an inch. About a little more than three quarters of an inch. So, that's about the size of the O-rings. You can buy these. Um, I had a little bit of trouble figuring out exactly the correct ones. Um, so, if you just get a universal kit, you should be able to find one that fits. So, check those out. Well, that was a quick and easy repair. Too bad it's 19 degrees out, a little bit chilly. Um, could be worse. Could have been the whole cooler and I don't have it. Those coolers aren't too expensive. Luckily, with the E46, there's a lot of aftermarket parts because there's so many out there. So, you can get some of the parts sometimes pretty cheap, sometimes they're pretty expensive. All right, it's a week later. Check it out. There's nothing dripping on the ground. And if you take a look at it, it's dry underneath there. So those O-rings fixed it. So I'm happy with that. Remember, you want to see this thing fail, make sure you subscribe. Thanks.